rating all history drama series from worst to best in my opinion. When it comes to Taiwanese BL, the history series is known for making it popular so just out of the blue, I decided to rate them from worst to best in my opinion. Warning, there will be a lot of spoilers. 9. History 1 Stay Away The fact that the leads are stepbrothers already is a turn-off. The acting is very awkward and amateur. Though there were cute moments, the chemistry between the leads is obviously very forced. Lastly, there is no real development, like the story just magically made them attracted to each other, without logical reason point 2 out of 10. 8. History 1 My Hero I honestly enjoyed some of the scenes and the chemistry was kinda there, but the one thing that was bothering me is that during that time one of the leads was being possessed by a female ghost who was the girlfriend of the other lead. It's a bit disturbing to realize that a man's body was actually being manipulated by someone else without his consent. The drama became even worse when it was revealed that the other lead, the ghost's boyfriend, was actually in love with the lead before he was possessed so it makes the possession worthless and kinda makes the boyfriend a bit of a jerk because he didn't really mourn for her. Also, the fact that the possessed lead had no memory of what had happened makes me feel bad for him, 3 out of 10. 7. History 5 Love in the Future This series would have been an interesting drama if it was written well. I always liked the time travel plot and dramas, so I had high hopes, however, they quickly faded as I watched each episode. The time travel plot is almost completely gone after episode 2. Then, the writers suddenly remembered they had a time travel plot and decided to squeeze it in the last couple of episodes and solved it within two minutes. Other than the terrible script, the acting was not very good. There was very little chemistry and the way they delivered their lines was awkward and almost unemotional. It was so boring that I keep skipping scenes just to finish the series quickly. 5 out of 10 6. History 4 Close to You Some of the storylines were cute, but what turned me off was the stepbrother's plot. It was very creepy. Also, the fact that the older brother was drugged and graped and still made them a couple disgusted me to the point I purposely skipped their scenes. The plot with the main couple where they kinda pretend to be boyfriends because of a girl who likes gay content was cringy, but tolerable. They actually have some chemistry. 6 out of 10. 5. History 1 Obsessed. If you like possessive red flags and yandera types, you'll love this series. The chemistry was oozing. Despite only being around an hour, they managed to excite me super hard. You can really feel the main theme, which is obsessive love. The sexual tension, the kisses, and the love scene were one of the best ones in the history of the history series. It is obviously my favorite out of history one. Of course despite my liking, I did see some flaws such as awkward pacing, the out of nowhere second couple with no actual plot and the annoying background music. Overall, this is a good watch. 7 out of 10. 4. History 3 Make Our Days Count I'll be honest. I love the plot, love the characters, and love the progression. The opposite attract, Enemies to Lovers, was written all over this drama. However, the ending was so horrible that it literally traumatized an entire fandom. I even refused to watch the last episode because I can't handle it, though I knew the gist of what happened. I just want a happy ending and I didn't get it here, this drama will make you smile, cry and may even give you trauma so watch with caution. 8 out of 10 3. History 2 Crossing the Line This was my first time I've seen a sport-themed romance storyline, and it worked very well. I love the dynamic between the main couple as senior-junior, to friends to lovers. It was very cute. They are very likable as well. One is a serious volleyball captain turned consultant, while the other is a misunderstood rebellious guy who actually has a heart of gold. It's like if Slam Dunk turned into BL. I also love the funny moments, especially the daydream scenes, though some of them are a bit over the top at times. 
I'm a little turned off with the side couple, because it's once again a step-bro romance trope, but they are less annoying because they were barely there, which is a good thing for me. If you like rom-coms and men in sports uniforms, specifically in shorts, you'll like this one. 8.5 out of 10. 2. History too right or wrong. At first, I did not like the daddy male lead because he was a terrible parent and I was a bit hesitant in rooting for the main couple because of the age gap, but they won me over. Their character arcs were very well done, despite only having four episodes. I love that both leads grew together and made themselves a better version of themselves. This is a very green flag, sweet, domestic romance. I also love the side characters, especially the girl bestie and the little girl. This is definitely one of the best in this series. 9 out of 10 1. History 3 Trapped This is very biased, but I truly think this one is the best in the entire history series and even one of the best ever made in BL drama history. I love how they were able to pull so many genres and worked so perfectly. There is some legit action, lovely romantic scenes, and even humor. They were able to create a deep and complex storyline without cheapening the romance or neglecting plots and motivations of characters. In addition, the characters are just so lovable and the chemistry was just overflowing. I really love both couples in this series, which is not often in most Asian dramas I've watched. It is simply one of the best BL ever, and I highly recommend it that it should be a required watch to all BL fans. Let me know your thoughts by liking and commenting to this video.